Well, they finally upgraded to the diesel. My uh, Ram 1500 has treated me well, but I kind of decided it's time to upgrade to an HD. And we've got this one now. So it's a 2014 Ram 2500 with the 67 Cummins. And so far I like it. I've only had it for about two weeks. Um, really haven't driven it around much. I've been basically doing a bunch of maintenance items on it. Changing out fuel filters, um, changing the oil. Just basically getting it all ready to go so I know that all the maintenance is up to snuff. And hopefully I won't have to worry about any of that for a while. Um, so I really haven't drove it. Drove it. I really haven't driven it all that much. Um, just a few trips around town on the highway a couple times, but uh, I need to get it out on our uh, spring camp trip and see how she pulls. You know, I'm excited to see how it handles our camp trailer. Um, that was basically the reason to upgrade to the HD is the last camp trip coming home we had some inclement weather and I was basically white knuckling it all the way home. And on my 1500 I got airbags, weight distribution, um, kind of done everything everything I can to it to make it a good tower, but um, yeah, I just hated that drive back, and I was kind of thinking to myself, yeah, I'm done with this. I want an HD. So finally got one. I've been shopping around for a couple months. Prices for used diesels are absolutely outrageous, but I feel like I got a pretty decent deal on this one. Private party purchase. Um, like I said, it's a 14, 2014, so same year as my 1500. Uh, it's got 124 some odd thousand miles on it, so not a ton. Um, but we'll see if the uh, EGR and the DEF give me any problems. That was kind of my hesitation when you know looking at these used emissions trucks. Kind of interested to do like a back-to-back -to -back tow test with my 1500 just to see the difference. They're both 14s. They both have the coils in the back be kind of interesting to see the difference there but uh, it's not perfect by any means but hell it's a truck you know it's gonna get beat up is what it is I think I got a decent price for it so uh, speaking of price let me know in the comments uh, what you think I picked this up for uh, knowing what you know it'd be interesting to kind of see and maybe on a later video I'll tell you how much I actually paid for it yeah and there's a few dings and dents this one right here on the rear right is a pretty you know decent dent <laughs> I kind of wonder how much it would cost me to, you know, pull that out and get it painted and fixed. Probably ought to do this whole fender, honestly, because it's kind of had a few patch jobs that didn't turn out all that great. So I did already put some shocks all the way around on it. They're the KYBs, just a factory replacement. All right, so Timbrins or airbags, what do you recommend? This is also a big horn, so it's got some of the goodies. It's got heated seats and heated steering wheel. I've noticed in the Ram, the heated seats don't, you know, they don't put out a lot of heat. They're kind of weak. Uh, but it's got a, some goodies. It doesn't have a backup camera, though, which I don't know how I missed that. But when I bought it, I didn't realize that I didn't have a backup camera. Um, so I'm looking for some solutions there. Um, the stock backup camera is like $800, which is crazy, so I don't think I'm going to do that. The gauge cluster, it's taken me a while to kind of get used to it. I had, you know, the nicer Laramie cluster on my other truck. Uh, so this one, definitely have to sort through it a lot more to get information, which is kind of a bummer, but we'll get used to it. But yeah, it's uh, pretty decent. I think it'll serve me and my family just fine. I will say the Cummins on idle and on... You know, just moderate acceleration sounds really good. Um, at idle, I think the Cummins and the 6.0 sound really good. Um, I've only driven a 6.7 one other time in my father-in-law's truck. Um, so I, you know, I've driven 6.0, 7.3, and I've driven a 6.7 Power Stroke once. So I really can't, you know, compare it all that much. But I'm excited to see how the Cummins does. I'm also excited to see how well the in, or excuse me, not engine brake, the exhaust brake works on this truck. Just driving around town with tow haul mode on it works pretty good, so I want to see how it does with my trailer on the back. One thing I don't like about the Rams is that the bed is three inches, I believe it's three or four inches shorter than the Chevy and the Ford. Um, 
which kind of spoils my plans because I was planning on putting the C-Force in the back of the truck pulling my trailer. Now I gotta come up with some sort of way to get it to fit because it won't close the tailgate. I'm, I haven't tried, but I'm pretty positive it will not close the tailgate with it in the back. It does need some new tires here pretty soon, so let me know what you guys recommend on tires. I think this truck is a 275-60R20 is what's on it right now. Um, I think I'm probably just gonna stick to that size. But yeah, let me know what tires you recommend. I did, I do like the Pirellis a lot on my half ton. Um, and I did find some Pirellis that are at a higher load rating, but right now they're like 350 bucks a piece, which is a little more than I really want to spend. The other ones I'm looking at are the Coopers, the XLTs, but yeah, those are pricey too. So tires, let me know what you recommend. So I'll try and keep you updated on this truck. Um, I'll let you know how it goes. Hopefully we'll get out soon and ride and get the trailer out and bolt with this here Cummins. Um, get outside. Holy crap, I'm getting tired of winter. So, Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good one.